everybody. Diamonds by Tita here. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by. We're going to do a just a quick whip and chat. Um, it is O-Dark 30 on Wednesday morning, April 3rd. Um, yeah, it's dark. It's before work. But I probably have like maybe about 20 minutes or so before I have to go get ready. Um, so I will we'll just do a little short one, okay? I am working on this beautiful butterfly. Um, this is from Colorful DIY. Um, I just unboxed it um, just the other day, not too long ago. You probably have seen it. Um, and I'm going to be working on this for my event, my April event in my Facebook group, Diamonds by Tita, um, which is Blissful in Blue. And it's any project that has blue in it. So if you haven't joined, go over to Diamonds by Tita. Find something blue that you want to work on. Doesn't matter what it is. Cross stitch, crocheting, diamond painting, coloring. Like, you know, whatever you want to do. So yeah, join us. We'll have some fun. All right. So I am drinking some coffee. Um, and this, I found this mug in, um, which store was that? It was Goodwill. It's a Fiesta wear. I love mugs. And they, it doesn't matter really the color or what, but I like how it feels in my hand. And um, I just like all different kinds of mugs. So yeah, that was kind of fun. So I got that. Um, we, let's start, let's start this and then I will work a little bit more. I'll talk a little bit more about, I don't know, whatever my squirrel thought, my little squirrel brain wants to be talking about. I do not have anything planned at all because this was a spur in the moment whip and chat that I decided to do. And again, like I said, I'm going to be doing twos. So let's go ahead and bring you in. Let's go ahead and bring you in. I guess we'll do it like that. We'll do it sideways. I think it's easier for me to see. And let's see what I got. Let's go ahead and start. So I'm doing the number twos. Oh, I didn't even show you. Um, they are in this beautiful pink. Isn't that pretty? I love the pink. So that's what number two is. We are working on, on that. Make certain that you can see what I'm doing when I'm placing. Yeah, you can see that, I think. Although you probably aren't watching necessarily, you're probably just more listening. So yeah, if you um, haven't grabbed a project yet, grab something that you wanna work on. <clears throat> and uh, come join me for a little bit. Yeah, today's gonna be a busy day today. Again, I work. And uh, I'm supposed to travel a little bit today, but it's supposed to rain. Man, the weather is so weird. It is so, so weird. I, um, you know, I worked from home yesterday, and um, then after work I had to run a couple errands, and I knew it was warm. I knew it was supposed to be a nice spring day, but I really hadn't paid any attention to the weather. And... When I got in my car and started driving, the car thermometer said it was 82, which I believe because I had to turn the air conditioning on. Can you believe that? I had to turn the air conditioning on because it was hot. Um, I don't like heat very well, so I probably turned the air conditioner on before other people do, but um, yeah, it was really warm. So anyway, um, and then I get home to check the weather again for later on in the week and today it's supposed to be 50 degrees so we went from 82 to 50 and rainy weird spring weather and then as I was driving too I noticed there was such pretty um, the trees were blooming there were such pretty flowers it was just really nice to kind of look at the beauty that was around um, and I think that will bring me to my next little squirrel thought. Keep up with my squirrel thoughts, guys. Um, when I went thrifting with my sister on Saturday, because you guys know we do that. She's, she's a reseller. You guys probably know that. 
And so we find all kinds of good stuff for her. And once in a while, I find something for me to bring home. Once in a while, it's even a diamond painting. You just never know. So this time I found, let me show you guys. Oop, I'm going to have to pull it back just a little bit because I have it in too close. This is one of the um, Ray Dunn mugs, and it says, Be in the Moment. Um, but I want to show you the mug, too. Isn't that a weird shape? It is such a weird shape. But when you hold it in your hand, it feels really comfortable. At least it does for me, anyway. So I picked this up, and this shape, I thought, was just the most bizarre thing in the Ray Dunn, how Ray Dunn does her mugs. Um, and my daughter collects them, right? She collects all the Ray Dunn stuff. Um, but anyway, and I kind of teased her about it. I go, why did you get that cup? It's not a circle. It's not symmetrical. You know, I have to have everything symmetrical. I don't like asymmetrical stuff. It just, it, I don't know, it's just me. Um, and I kind of really teased her about it. And I know her husband teased her about it. Um, but anyway, when you drink out of it, how your mouth fits on here is really comfortable, probably more comfortable than a regular mug. So I had to tell her, I said, yeah, you're right. I really like these mugs a lot. Um, so I, <laughs> I found this in the thrift store and picked it up. But anyway, I wanted to talk to you about being the moment, um, which my son talks to me about all the time. You have to really enjoy the moment that you're in. Um, enjoy the little things. Um, <coughs> excuse me, just be present. Like, for example, I um, was listening to the birds. Um, it was yesterday. Was it yesterday or the day before? I can't remember what day it was. Um, but I was listening to the birds. There were so many birds in my backyard. And I just took a moment to really just kind of listen and enjoy it and pay attention to them. You know, I watch them kind of fly around and fly in the trees and, um, you know, up into the trees. And I just, it was just really, really nice. And then I can't remember what day it was. Um, it was evening and I was closing the windows, or the, the blinds in the front room. And um, I looked out the window and the moon was so beautiful. It was exactly... Um, a half moon. It, it was just exactly in half. And it was so pretty. And, you know, I just had to take a moment to just really, you know, look at it and just, um, just kind of enjoy it. Um, what's the old saying, you know, take time to smell the roses? I think we need to take time, or at least for me, um, since I'm always so busy, there's always something that has to be done probably more than what I can get done in a day. There's always stuff I need to do on the channel. There's stuff I need to do in Facebook. You know, there's stuff I need, you know, my projects that I want to work on. You know, I want to work on my diamond painting. You know, I want to work on my cross stitch. Is that all the twos there? Yeah, I'm going to have to move it now. That is all the twos there. So we're just going to move this around a little bit. And we'll get into these twos. You probably don't want to be upside down, do you? You want to be right side up? Can I do it that way? No, I'm going to, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to flip you upside down because it's going to be easier for me so my hand doesn't get sticky. I should have gotten a cover minder. But I didn't. Um, so yeah, getting back to it, just, you know, if you get a chance today, you know, or maybe tomorrow or sometime in the future, just take some time to be in the moment and enjoy some little stuff. That was really nice. Even diamond painting, you know, I come like working on these pink things, the pink drills. You know, I'm thinking, boy, that is so pretty. I really, really am liking it. I think I got you a little too close. Back 
coffee out just a little bit. I'll take a sip of coffee too. My coffee always gets cold by the time I get done with the video. So anyway, so that um, that's kind of my be in the moment mug that I found. And what else did I find for myself? Oh, for myself, I just found um, a couple shirts. That's all. I really didn't find anything necessarily for me. Um, although for my sister, wow, we found lots of stuff. Found lots of clothes um, to resell. Um, <laughs> I even found a bunch of um, J. Jill. I don't know. I've never, I never even heard of that clothing line. It's a, I think a, like a catalog line or an online store, but it's really expensive. I mean, their shirts are like a hundred dollars. I mean, who could afford that? Um, but anyway, but I found several J. Jills. We found. Uh, I can't remember some of the other brands that she found. Some of these fancy things I've never even heard of. Um, and we found some shoes, and we found... Um, what else did we find? I think, that was, I think that was most of it. I was actually looking for some frames for the diamond paintings, but I couldn't find anything in the sizes I need or that were in a good condition. Some of them were, you know, pretty beat up. But I did find, okay, so I was in Goodwill. This was the second store we were in. And usually I don't find much at Goodwill because it's way too expensive. Their stuff is really, really expensive. But anyway, I go over the craft section because that's usually where I head right away is the craft section. And I see a Diamond Dots box. And I thought, oh, wow, I have found a Diamond Dots. This is going to be awesome. Um, and, you know, I open it up and I start to unroll it and it's a, a starry night, one of their starry night ones, which is great. And then I look and it is partially completed. I thought, well, you know, that's okay. I can deal with it if it's partially completed. Um, and then I look at the price. Or I think, I guess I looked at the price first and it was expensive. It was uh, seven, seven something. I'll show you the little video clip of it that I took. If I, if I remember to put the video clip in, I will. Um, but yeah, it was seven seventy five, I think. And then I look and there's no drills. And it's like, okay, so you're going to sell a, you know, a quarter completed diamond painting with no drills for seven seventy five. dollars uh, I don't think so. That's a big bust. So I was really disappointed that I didn't find it. Cause I, you know, I don't really have any Starry Night thing. I guess I might have a couple kind of Starry Night themes, um, but I, I didn't have, you know, the Diamond Dots and I like Diamond Dots. I think, I think their drills are nice. I like everything about them. Um, but anyway, anywho, um, you know, I put that back and I start digging around a little bit more and I see a pack of drills. And at first I thought, oh, maybe those are the diamond dots, but they're not. These are the drills that come in the little, little teeny, tiny, 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 you know, bags, you know, the, the drills bags that, you know, we don't like because you have to open up so many of them when you're kidding up. Um, and I look at that and I think, uh, no, I don't want that either. So that's kind of a bummer. And it was expensive. I don't remember what it was, but I know on my video it shows the price. Um, and I thought, nope, not going to get that. So that was kind of sad. And then they had this knitting thing um, where you could knit these little um, animal things. It was this little kit. And I thought it was kind of cute, but, you know, I, I didn't buy it because... I don't need one more project to do. I have so many projects to do. I've got so many whips. Um, I just, I can't, I can't do it. Oops, oopsie. Let's go over here to the other side and we'll do the twos over here. I think this is, I think this is the last of my twos. 
So um, I found nothing diamond painting related in any of the thrift stores. So I was sad. I was really sad. And then we went, there was a couple estate sales and our estate sales usually run Friday and Saturday. And so on Saturday, it's half price day. So sometimes you can get some really good deals sometimes. And estate sales usually can be expensive too. Plus they kind of make me sad because if someone had passed away, it kind of creeps me out um, a little bit. So I don't, I wouldn't buy any clothing or you know any personal items like that because I know I'm weird. Um, yeah, it kind of creeps me out. But anyway, so we drive by. And let me get the last two. And oh my gosh, there was so many cars. It probably was, parking was like a half a block long at least on both sides of a really narrow street. So um, we decided they weren't, we weren't gonna even stop. So we didn't stop. And um, we did stop at a garage sale beforehand. There was one and got a couple things there. I, I, I didn't get anything. She found a few things to resell. And I'm sorry, I don't even remember what they are. Okay, so that takes care of all of my twos. This way. And I think what I will do is I will... We'll do some six, no, let's do something different. Let's do, let's do something different. We are gonna do the C's. We're gonna do uh, the big drills or the big special shapes. And let me get a nice tray. We are gonna do these gold ones. We're gonna do these gold ones, aren't they pretty? Yeah, those are really, really pretty. So we are gonna do the C's. And how I usually do the, the bigger ones is I use um, a multi-placer with it like this. And for me, that's a little bit easier than doing tweezers or a single placer because it's a little bit stronger. So that's what I tend to do with these kind. I always like doing these special shapes. I think these are fun. And I think they are, this painting is, or this butterfly is just perfect for blissful and blue. Oop, oop, a number one drill kind of fell off there. Let me put that back in. There we go. Oh, I hear my neighbor next door or across the street warming up the car, getting ready to go to work. He goes really early too. He works an early shift. So I tend to be a, a morning person. Are you guys... Are you guys a morning person or are you a night owl? I think I've always been a morning person. I've always kind of gone to bed early. Even when I was a kid, you know, I like to go to bed early. I really prefer it and I don't mind. Like this morning, I got up a little after four, four in the morning. because I wanted to, let's see, where's more C? There's, there's another C up there. Oh, I'm out of frame. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I'm a morning person. Okay, and I am going to flip this around and we will go this way. And maybe I'm gonna, pardon my arm, I'm gonna bring you down just a little bit and I'm gonna fix this just a little bit. I think that's gonna be, 
That might be a little bit easier, maybe. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get a better, I'm trying to get it better. There we go. All right, back to morning people. My mama was a morning person. And my cousin that I grew up, shoot, did you see, see what I did? You know, you gotta take the cover sheet off. I do that every once in a while. I don't remove the cover sheet. And I try to stick it on there and it doesn't stick. And for a second, my mind goes, why isn't it sticking? Is there no glue on it? And it's because I didn't take the cover sheet off. Oh, and was it yesterday or the day before? I had you out of frame. Sorry about that. You didn't see me make my mistake. Sorry. Um, no, it must have been the day before. I was working on the war pony and I'm having to paint with it on my easel because my neck has been just absolutely killing me, killing me. And I thought I can't, I can't do it laying flat. Although I am paint, I'm doing this right now, this whip and chat with it flat. Um, but anyway, I had it up on the easel and because the easel, the painting's so big and the easel's so big, I didn't have a lot of room up front. And then I had, I moved the canvas around because you know, I tend to um, move the canvas around depending upon what's comfortable for me to paint. And I spilled a whole tray of drills right on the floor. And my floor is, you know, laminate. And they went everywhere. They went everywhere. I was, I'm going, oh no. And so painstakingly got on the floor. And there, of course there's dog hair on the floor because I hadn't vacuumed. Ugh, it was just a mess. I got most of them picked up. I'm hoping that I don't run out. If I do, you know, Diamond Art Club has their, um, their warranty on it. You know, if you do spill drills or you have an accident or something like that with it. So I'm just hoping for that color, you know, I have enough. So I think I am the CEO and one of the founding members of Spill Your Drill Club. I've still been seeing a lot of people. I've been, try I've been trying to catch up on videos. I keep saying that, guys, and I'm sorry. I just, I can't get to everybody's videos. Um, time just is not, you know, permitting me to do so. There we go. But the few that I have seen, I have seen several people say that they have, they, they've spilt drills too. So I don't think I am the Lone Ranger with that. Let me get that paper off so it's not so glary. And for right now, I don't kit these up. I just do them by color. And so for right now, I just put it back in this and I'm gonna tape that shut. And I think I will do, we'll do, <coughs> let's do the A's. Let's do another pretty shape, okay? Let me just cut this real quick. Maybe if all goes well, if I can work on this tonight, I'll have it done tonight. Because it really doesn't take very long. It takes a few hours. <coughs> or maybe not even that. Maybe like an hour or two. So I am going to be doing these little, I don't know what you would call these. I don't know if it's like a little flower, a little snowflake. I don't know what it is, but they're pretty. They're very pretty. So these are A's, and again, I think I'm gonna pick these up with a multi-placer, and I need to get you in frame. That will be, that will be helpful. 
Am I in frame here? Yep, I'm in frame here. So, anyway, I've been really enjoying these, these partials, and particularly these that are on the, the acrylic and that they stand up. Um, this is my third butterfly, and I think, because I'm kind of getting a collection of them, I think I may just hang them on the wall by themselves, I mean, without, you know, the stand. I think I'm just going to hang them, um, which I think will be nice. And they're going to go, I think, in the craft room. I'm going to try to get as much in my craft room as I can. There we go. Oh, but I spilled that one. And I'm just gonna scoot it over like that. And I haven't been able to work on much of my chores lately. I have um, been needing to clean out my refrigerator. Uh, you know, I usually can make certain that I get all what if there's, you know, older expired food or stuff that's not any good, you know, get that in the trash before trash day. Um, but I really need to, you know, wash the shelves and wash the, you know, the door and, you know, all, all of it. Um, so this morning I thought, okay, I have just a few minutes before I do this filming. Um, I said, I'm going to clean one shelf. I figured for me, one shelf is better than no shelves, right? So I did the top shelf. I took everything out. There was one outdated item, threw it away. Um, I took the shelf out, I washed it in the sink with nice warm, hot, soapy water, dried it off, put it back, put the things back on it and I was done. You know, I probably could have done one more shelf. Actually, if I probably could have done the whole thing, um, but I wanted to do this with Ben Chat. And I figured, like I said, one getting one thing done is better than no things, right? All right, here we go with some more A's. I think this is really pretty. I'm happy with this. This is going to be really fun to have in the craft room because it's so com it's so colorful. And I'm making some good progress on War Pony. Um, yeah, I'm making some really good progress on it. In fact, I think my sister's going to be really happy when it's done. I think if I can push a little bit, you know, I think I can have it done in a couple weeks. Because I paint a whole lot slower, guys, you know that. Because of the amount of stuff that I do, I just can't, I just don't have enough time to dedicate to it, which I wish I did. I mean, I paint every day. Even when I was kind of sick the other day, um, I didn't think I was going to paint at all, but I ended up painting for, I think, about an hour. I just... I just can't quite, um, not, not diamond paint. Okay, we got a little bit more A's down here. And we'll do these here. And oh goodness, I've been yakking almost 30 minutes. I'm going to have to stop in just a little bit because it's time for me to get ready for work. Although it's still, oh, dark 30. It's still very, very dark out. Um, my granddaughter is going to be in a parade coming up. I think it's on, it's not this Saturday, it's next Saturday. And I'm hoping it doesn't rain. Because traditionally, it always rains on the parade that we have. Oh, I missed a couple. See, I missed a couple up here. Let's get those two. We always miss some. Yeah, she is 
in the marching band, she plays the trombone, which I think is kind of cool. I think I told you guys that. Okay, so there is that. Put these back. And I'm gonna pull out one other color and do a couple, a couple more. And then, like I said, we're just gonna have a short look and chat. Again, not, I mean, not much is going on. I didn't even have much squirrel thought, really. Hopefully I kept you company a little bit with what you're doing. Um, I will do, <coughs> we're gonna pull out this. Wait till you see it. Wait for it, wait for it. Let me pour these in the tray. Oh, I didn't cut it all, I didn't cut it enough. This is a full bag too. Let me pour this and then I'm gonna show you this beautiful color. Let me shake it down. Oh wow, this is so pretty. Okay, look at this beautiful blue. So this is for my Blissful and Blue in my Facebook. That's why this um, project um, can count for it because it has this gorgeous blue in it. Boy, people are doing such pretty projects in there. Okay. Let's do a few more. Oh, and I'm not even in the frame. I am so sorry. Let's try this again. Sometimes it's hard to watch in the camera or in my laptop. And I really probably have you too close. There we go. Um, yeah, here we go. Do a few more, how about that? So what are everybody's plans this weekend? You doing anything? Oop, I missed one. I know it's only Wednesday. God, I still didn't pick one up. What is up with me? There we go. Now I got it. I don't really have anything planned except I have to do some housework. I have gotten so far behind on my housework. I need to do that. Oops, and that one kind of fell over. There we go. I have got to vacuum today. I cannot stand this dog here anymore. It's driving me crazy. I don't know how such a little dog can shed so much. But I'm sure you guys all understand because so many of you have pets, your pet parents. Maybe I need to give her a nice bath. I think the next nice warm day, I won't do it while this is kind of cold and rainy. But I'll do it on the next day. All right, well, I think I need to get ready for work and get going. But at least we did a little short whip and chat. We got to hang out a little bit today, which I think is good. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day or night whenever you happen to be watching. Um, remember, you're perfect exactly as you are. You don't have to be perfect to be amazing. And neither does your project. Don't worry if you make a mistake on your project. Like, I made a mistake on my cross stitch. And, I mean, I can see, I can see the mistake I made. But when the whole project gets done, no one is going to see it. it. I mean, I'm going to be the only one that's going to know that there was a mistake there. Um, I did a really, oh, I don't know if I can show this to you. Let me see if I can bring this in. Oh, I can bring it in. So I did this purple through here, and this is going to be part of the sky. I'll show you a picture of the canvas up in here somewhere so you can see it. But I've done that much, and then I've also done this corner down here. 
but that's as far as I've gotten because I usually don't have that much time. You know, I might stitch during a TV program or something like that. Um, cause oops, have my, my floss hanging off. So that, yeah, that there's, there's a mistake in there, but I think when everybody gets, when everybody sees it finished, it's not going to, no one's going to see it. So that's good. So again, your projects don't have to be perfect. Um, and do one thing today that your future self is going to thank you for what is on my to-do list today. Um, on my morning break, I am going to take a 15 minute walk. And hopefully I can take a 15 minute walk in the afternoon with my afternoon break. And then, I don't know, maybe lunch. Um, I might walk at lunch. At some, I'm gonna walk at some point today. And I'll report back on my next video and let you know that I did it and I completed it. And um, yeah, that's about it. So I hope you have a great day, great rest of your week. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. Just click on this little red button that's down in the corner here. And that's all I have for you guys today. Um, take care, and I'm going to see you on the next one. Bye.